How to eat koso genmai fermented brown rice? That's something I'd like to talk about today, so stick around. Hi, my name is Sachiaki Takamiya. I am the author of the Ikigai Diet and Ikigai Biohacking. Okay, so in the last video, I shared with you how to make koso genmai fermented brown rice, right? So for detail, please watch that video. Yeah, and then today I'll share with you some examples of eating koso genmai. How to eat fermented brown rice, right? Um, now, uh, one uh, protocol is that one bowl is enough. Yeah, that is the unique thing about koso genmai. Now, so you know the white rice you know, has a bad reputation now, uh, you know, having a, a bad source of carb and so on. And in fact, I even uh, say that in my book, yeah, uh, and I mentioned the Dr. Shoji Kondo's research, yeah, he was a medical professor at Tohoku University and he discovered short-lived villages and long-lived villages in Japan. She kind of traveled around Japan and, you know, visiting many different uh, towns and villages. And then there are many short-lived villages and long-lived villages. And then he discovered that the difference between the two was in their diet. And in short-lived villages, many of them were eating a lot of white rice. Yeah. So now in Japan too, uh, white rice has a bad reputation. But in the book, he said that uh, they were eating a lot. Uh, for example, four bowls of rice to seven bowls of rice. Yeah, because some of those bridges are very poor, they didn't have other ingredients or they couldn't afford to have other ingredients. So basically they filled their stomach just with rice and some pickles, but usually those are very salty pickles. So salt was another cause, but they were just eating a lot of rice. Yeah. Um, so if you eat maybe, you know, one or two bowls of white rice, you don't need to worry too much about uh, this uh, carb intake business. Yeah. Having said that, I still recommend brown rice or koso genmai instead of white rice because brown rice and koso genmai contain a lot of fiber. Yeah, right. And then, but even more, one more advantage of koso genma is that you don't need to eat so much. You can just one bowl is filling, it's enough. Yeah. Now, this is because it is nutritionally dense. Yeah. By fermenting brown rice, it increases the nu nutrient tremendously. Yeah. For example, a uh, dietary fiber to 127% more, protein to 115% more, vitamin B2 to 125% more, vitamin B1 to 134% more, and iron to 190% more, calcium to 178% more. Yeah. So one bowl of kosugenmai is enough for you. Now, so how to eat koso genmai? The most common way or the most basic way is eat it in the format of ichiju sansai. Ichiju sansai is a basic washoku structure. It means one soup, three dishes. So usually in washoku, uh, you have main dish, which is rice, and then soup, which is usually miso soup, and then pickle. Those are the three sort of a pyramid uh, kind of thing. And then, then sansai means three dishes. So that means three side dishes. So uh, rice soup pickles with three side dishes are called ichiju sansai. And usually one of the third side dishes should be vegetable based and one of them should be protein based. Yeah. By the way, this is called sunomono, uh, which is a vinegared uh, vegetables. Uh, so uh, you can, uh, you know, play around with the way, with the, with the cooking methods to make Ichiju Sansai uh, more diverse and colorful. Yeah. Um, this is another example of Ichiju Sansai uh, yeah, plate. Uh, so you can have a fish uh, and then, you know, other, this is Nimono, uh, which is another 
example I actually wrote in the book, Ikigai Diet. Yeah. Uh, or you can make Ichichu Gosai. Gosai means five dishes. So one, two, three, four, five. Or you can make Ichichu Nisai, two dishes. Yeah. Or you can make Ichiju Issai. Issai means one dish, just one side dish. Or you can just have natto, yeah, without pickles. Yeah, this itself is a super dish because you have three king of fermented food, you know, kosogemai, miso soup, and natto. Yeah, I already told you about the benefit of natto and miso soup. Yeah, in fact, I made a video called Five Health Benefits That Make Natto the King of Superfoods and Five Health Benefits of Miso Soup. Yeah, so having natto, miso soup, and kosu genma is a very powerful dish. I do recommend it very much to break your fast. When you're coming out of a long fast, uh, this combination would be fantastic. Yeah, especially if you don't have time to make other dishes. Yeah. Or you can make some other dishes such as curry and rice. Curry and rice is a very popular dish in Japan, uh, which is called kare rice. And usually people have kare rice with white rice. Yeah, this is the typical kare rice in Japan. But you can make one with koso genmai. And you see the difference in the amount. So you have a lot of white rice here, but uh, not so much uh, koso genmai. And especially in curry and rice, because you use some potatoes in curry. Uh, th these are taro potatoes, by the way, but often in curry and rice, they put regular potatoes. And uh, so it can be too much carb intake. So in this way, when you make curry and rice with koso genmai, it is uh, even more beneficial. Or you can make uh, koso genmai onigiri. Onigiri means rice balls. Yeah, when you, when you visit Japan, well, you might probably go to a convenience store and you often find onigiri, you know, there. Uh, but onigiri made of white rice and onigiri made of koso genmai is completely different, yeah? Uh, yeah, th these are great. And you can even put them in a kind of bento, like a lunchbox, yeah, with other uh, dishes too. Right. Um, yeah, so I will you know, uh, make some videos uh, for uh, some, you know, different recipes using koso genmai, right? But the bottom line is you can replace koso genmai with, you know, brown rice or white rice, yeah? So however you eat white rice or brown rice, you can use koso genmai for that, uh, that part. All right, so that's it. And uh, that is how to eat fermented brown rice. And uh, so I mentioned Ichiju Sansai, uh, this format. Yeah. Uh, so it's all in the book. Yeah. For details, please read the book and you can uh, find about Sunomono uh, too. Right. Uh, and then the book contains uh, many other useful uh, aspects of a Japanese natural dietary culture, such as Ichibutsu Zen Taishoku, Shindo Fuji, and Mago Yasashi. You definitely need the knowledge of Mago Yasashi to make other dishes in Ichiju Sansai plate. And finally, it's got Hare and Ke, right? Um, yeah, the book is available on Amazon, both as Kindle and print-on-demand paperback. Thank you for watching. Again, my name is Sachiaki Takamiya. I am the author of the Ikigai Diet and Ikigai Biohacking. If you like this video, please give me your thumb up and please subscribe to my channel. Please hit the subscribe button. Okay, and please leave your comment, yeah? If you've made also get my and some dishes with it. Uh, yeah, if you have some interesting recipes using Koso Genmai, please share it in the comment section below. 
Thank you very much. Okay, I will see you in the next video. Live with your ikigai.